Welcome back, race fans. It's good to be here. Really good to be here. This has been a really rough week. As some of you already know, I uh, wound up having a bit of a uh, system problem that had to be fixed. Um, but I am here, and we are here for the Wild West Zones of PCA Sim Racing Race 7 in Series 2. This is the finale. And uh, we actually uh, are at Brands Hatch this week, and uh, we've already uh, done a, a Prelude. Now, Prelude was kind of strange for me because, as I mentioned, I had a system problem, which I'll talk about in just a second. So I wasn't able to participate in Prelude. Um, luckily enough, Stephen Shen very generously put up a session last night that I was able to join. I uh, did a half-hour race and kind of ironed out some kinks and got a little bit of extra practice in, which was really, really good uh, just to be on track with other folks and kind of get a sense of what's going on um, for the race tonight. Tonight is a one-hour race, which is a little bit different. Typically, our races are 40 minutes long, and uh, so this is an extra 20 minutes, and it's at Brands Hatch, which is a track that I have a very mixed feeling about. It's, it's a beautiful track, um, and it, it can be fun to drive, but it's also, um, it's one that for some reason, has a tremendous number of hazards for me. Um, it's a very difficult track for me to pass on. And um, the reason for that is that uh, I find if I get off my main line in most places around track, I wind up uh, getting myself into trouble. So it's a, it's a dangerous track for me. I don't know if that's true for everybody, um, but it's definitely uh, true for me. So it's going to be a, an interesting night tonight. Um, because I haven't had as much practice as I normally do, and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Before I uh, get into my saga, uh, I also wanted to say something very important um, and bring a message to everybody that's participating in PCA Sim Racing and those that maybe are not. Um, I had a, a pretty bad, uh, bad bump in my morale this week because of a system crash that I had to recover from, and what was so amazing about that wasn't just that um, people were concerned and expressed, you know, well wishes that I could get it back up and running and, and participate, is I had offers of people to, you know, ship me hard drives and you know, all sorts of just very generous um, offers to help get me back on my feet. And it really occurred to me at that point, um, I think more than it has um, at any other point in uh, the sim racing experience, is that what started off as a hobby to fill some time in a uh, uh, era when the pandemic has caused uh, social distancing to basically wipe off a lot of events off of people's calendars and we're not getting to spend as much time doing the things we love with the cars that we love so much. Um, it's turned into something much bigger than that. It's, it's turned into... Um, really a fellowship of like-minded folks doing something that they're passionate about. And uh, we've developed some really, I think, long-standing friendships, things that will last for a really long time. And that's a pretty amazing thing to come out of all the uh, doom and gloom uh, that everybody talks about in terms of the pandemic and how the, it's the resetting of what's normal and all of that crap. It's, it's really presented an opportunity for humans to be human and find a way, regardless of circumstance, to come together and uh, really um, be there for one another, be supportive of one another, have fun with one another, and do some pretty amazing things. <clears throat> the thing with uh, sim racing, um, we've, we've got a, a, a finale here that really is truly amazing in that how close it is. Um, we have um, some folks at the very top of the Pro Series that are gonna be battling it out tonight, Derwin and Rich. Um, both of them um, have a shot at winning the championship uh, for, for Series 2 and Pro. We have a very tight race for second and third in club between Brian Granger and uh, Chris Zborowski. This is gonna be one to watch. These guys both have amazing speed. And um, Brian is, is one of those guys that uh, I never count him out. Um, he was in the practice session last night, and he seemed a little slower than I expected him to be. Um, not that he was slow, but he was slower than I expected him to be. But I saw Chris and how fast he was, and I wondered how much of Brian's session was sort of hanging back and just sort of seeing what he has to contend with for tonight. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I, 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 I like both of these guys. They both have tremendous racecraft 
and tremendous talent, and it'll be interesting to see who winds up getting the best of this situation. I do not think that anybody's going to catch Jonathan for number one, um, unless he doesn't show up tonight. Um, assuming that he shows up, even if he has a bad night, uh, chances are good that he's going to walk away with that number one position. So it really is a battle for second and third in all likelihood. Sports, another really interesting one. Um, my understanding coming into tonight, and I haven't confirmed this yet, is that Matt was unable to join for this race because of uh, either personal or business travel. I don't know if that's absolutely true. That's what I thought I heard at the end of last week's session. Um, we'll see. Um, but we have a one-point race, but, you know, actually two points dividing between fifth place and second place. Uh, Arnie Clayson is with 245 points. You have Jeff Williams down here with 243 in fifth place. And then you have Jeff Rosenthal and myself at 244. This is all up for grabs. It's basically going to be determined by finishes tonight, um, who's going to actually come out ahead. And chances are really good that it's also going to come down to some tiebreak activity that uh, Rodney will have to do some math um, to figure out who wins the tiebreaks uh, around this. But this is just tremendously exceptional um, in terms of just a group of people that are fairly consistent and really competitive with one another. So tonight's going to be a lot of fun. Similarly in challenge, um, Frazier um, is up ahead, but only by three points. So depending upon where he finishes in relation to Michael and Volker, um, this could be a grab bag um, tonight based on uh, how how each does tonight. And if you know one or two of them have a really, really good night and one has a really bad night, it's going to be a really significant impact on the points. And so this is exciting. This is what we're in it for. And this is why, again, getting back to, you know, the the, the fellowship and the the, uh, the generous offers and real friendship is I think competitiveness, uh, being competitive with one another in a friendly way, in a supportive way, um, it, 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 it creates interesting stuff. And so I just wanted to thank each and every one of you that are participating in not only the Wild West Zones, but any form of PCA sim racing or sim racing in general. Um, if I've bumped elbows with you and you're watching this video, thank you. It has been a true pleasure. Um, and I have to say, this has been really the most fun that I've had in a really long time. Um, it's something that I'm passionate about and I'm really enjoying. And I continue to expect good things for this as, as we continue to grow this, uh, this PCA Sim Racing thing. So enough about that. I want to talk really quickly about my crash. Um, I had a race um, this... Uh, Last weekend on Sunday with Rob Goddle, um, we were in a team event with the uh, Champion Motorsports iRacing Team Endurance Series. We were in an LMP2, and I really, I, I came out of that race feeling I had really let Rob down. Um, I, I didn't perform well, I had a horrible problem, and I suddenly realized towards the end of my stint that my problem wasn't with me so much is my machine had developed a performance issue and started having video stutter. And if any of you um, don't know, um, when you're driving a car, imagine you're driving a real car and suddenly the real world pauses for a microsecond and then comes back at you. Well, that's essentially what was happening to me in Sim as I was driving along and I'd have a stutter and when I'd come back, I'd be in a different point and so I was unable to respond to inputs and do the things that I needed to uh, adjust in the car to navigate corners, to handle braking points, to do anything around controlling the car. And that happened at enough inopportune points that I had a horrible, horrible 16 laps. That's all I did. He did, uh, Rob uh, did yeoman's work, did 61 laps in this race. Um, we finished uh, 16th out of 16 LMP. Uh, two cars. Um, we finished one position behind the lead GT car. That's how badly it went for us. Um, and uh, I was trying to figure it out and I thought maybe it was recording video was the problem. Couldn't really figure out what the, the source of the issue was and was doing um, a practice session um, that was that was I think put up by Stephen again on Monday and uh, was driving and uh, or getting ready to, to join. No, 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 no. I joined on Monday night, still had the stutter problem, had the performance problem, and wasn't wasn't doing real well. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't recording, didn't have any of that going. I shut down everything except for iRacing and was still having the stutter problem. Um, Tuesday, when I was getting ready to join the EDE, I was actually, uh, I had joined 
my uh, Redwood Region board member meeting from my rig, and I had the camera on, it couldn't connect to the camera, so I couldn't actually project my image at all. I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I'm like, well, maybe something's gotten weird with the drivers, I'll restart it. Went to restart it, and basically the hard drive was gone. I got in a boot loop, and it kept trying to find the hard drive and launching me into recovery mode. And I did all sorts of diagnostics, and finally at the end of all of that is the, the drive was just toast. It couldn't read anything on the drive. So panic set in. It's the last week of the series. I'm really excited to do this thing and uh, get this race under my belt, and I have this happen. So uh, luckily, I had put together um, some disaster recovery plans in place, so I had data backed up. Missed a few things, a few odds and ends. Um, I'm actually going to um, possibly do a video talking about uh, disaster recovery, backup and restoration, that sort of thing, um, as it pertains to PC um, and, and the sim rig if that's of interest to folks. So if that's something that'll be interesting to you and you wanna hear what I did or what I do and what I plan to do to improve it moving forward, say so in the comments. Just uh, mention that you're interested in that, you wanna learn more about that, and, and I'll, I'll definitely put that on my priority list. Long story short, um, I was able to recover the machine um, through Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday last night was able to finally join a session and do some, you know, benchmarking and see how the performance was. Uh, got the video configuration back set up. Tried really hard to see if this machine will actually push um, and do 4K video. And it's just not quite there. I get hiccups in the video. So I can't do 4K. So it'll be the same uh, 1080p that I've been doing. Um, but everything seems to check out. Um, I can do uh, races and get good performance in the race and game. And um, uh, can do the video recordings. Everything's back up. Did some minor tweaking here and there. So there may be some new stuff for you to uh, kind of chew on and see how we're doing. And I improved some things around my post-processing um, to basically cut time out of my editing. All that being said, I'm back up, I'm running, um, and again, thanks to all of you that were so supportive and offered uh, all sorts of, of just really generous things to get me back up and running. In the end, it was just a matter of putting my head down and getting it done. So I'm here, and now we're going to race. So I'm um, looking forward to this. It should be a lot of fun, and uh, let's get her done. We have a three-lap, ten-minute uh, qualifier, loan qualifier, that will start here very shortly. There is zero fast repairs tonight, so look after your cars. Fuel has been set at 55% maximum. Uh, you may want to check your settings and uh, in your garage and make sure that uh, you've got the most fuel if that's what you want to do, um, uh, because we bumped it up from the previous 50%. Uh, please take care coming back onto the track. Obviously, there's lots of uh, fast flowing corners here, and it's. Uh, very difficult to ease your way back on. Watch the relative. Make sure you give yourself lots of time to get back on the track. This is the end of the season. At the end of tonight's race, either tonight or uh, tomorrow, we will post the results uh, for the uh, Zone Challenge qualifying. As a reminder, the top 10 in each class, in each individual zone, qualify automatically for the uh, national zone championships. Um, the challenge races that are being run next month are optional for those people that are already automatically qualified for the championship. You can run them or you, you don't have to run them. It's up to you. Uh, if you don't finish in the top four of your class in your particular zone, then you'll have to go through the zone challenge process next month, a series of four races. One final announcement, uh, you know, WWZ is going to be hosting a, a special event uh, similar to what you've seen from other zones in the last end of uh, March. We're still trying to settle on an uh, exact date, but it will be uh, around Easter sometime, the week before, or week after, or even maybe on the Easter weekend. So just watch for announcements for that. The month of March, we're not going to run any particular uh, zone events here. We may run some preludes and practices for the national uh, 
zone challenge races, uh, so watch Discord for announcements on that sort of stuff. But as far as official series and stuff like that, we're going to take a bit of a break. Are there any questions for tonight's race? Seeing there's no questions, have a good luck tonight. A nice, safe race. There's some close battles in the uh, particular classes here, so it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. Hour-long race, take your time. Lots of things to go wrong if you try and push too hard. Hey, thanks, Rodney, for everything you did this, uh, this past season. It was, uh, it was a great race and, and, and a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, so thanks for that. Yes, here, here. Likewise. Great job. It was a team effort with all the uh, committee members, not just me. I'm just the uh, spokesman here for the uh, driver's briefings. Well, Rodney, you talk good, so that's great. <laughs> Here's to all the uh, WWZ uh, coordinators and planners. Great job. Here, here. Second that. Bye bye. Bye. Third for me. Great group of guys. Hey, on that note, if you guys uh, think of something you want to do or do differently uh, for the next series that we put together, throw your comments into Discord there and uh, we'll take them into consideration. We're always looking for something new to do, something different. Okay, time to qualify, eh? So rather than pushing my luck, I am qualifying by pushing race take. Mostly because uh, I have a qualifying low fuel setup, but um, it got a little squirmy for me in practice, so just go with my perfect chance. This track is as I was saying earlier, perilous for me. Especially on cold nights.
Well, let's see what we did. Looks like my last was a 129.2. Well, 129.3, if we're being honest, if we round up. So, it's not bad. I mean, it is bad, but it could be worse. Looks like Arnie probably got the pull for sport. I think that that's what I saw. I should just take a quick peek here. Derwin, Chris, Ed. So yeah, Arnie got the pull for sport. Jeff is a close second. Jeff out qualified me. It's okay though. It's a long race. It's okay. It's respectable. I'm in the on the grid and I didn't embarrass myself. I can live with that. Hey, it's an hour long race, so it's a long race. We've got a lot of time. No matter what it says on the board right now, that's gonna change for sure. Just keep my nose clean and stay out of trouble. That's the that's the Oh, plan. not a pop parade lab. Good luck, guys. To you as well. Good luck, guys. Stay safe, everybody. Rich, did you make it in for the race, sir? I saw you come in late. Uh, yes. Yeah, running late tonight, so... Oh well. Stay behind five seventeen. I don't want to stay behind you. Yes, what's that? Right?
of fun to get inside Jeff Smith.
pits down here on the left. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Press this. Let's try again. Thanks, Mark. On the right. Thank you. Channel left. Hey. Thanks, Mark. That's me on the left. Thank you.
That's me on the right. Stay safe. Thanks, Michael. Welcome. This is Mike. Thank you. Pass me on the right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks,
always have good race space to Zero incident point race is gone because of my little off. That's me on the right. Thanks, Michael. That's left, Bob. Yep. That's you on the left. Thank you. Cap, I'm heading in. Thanks for that, Jeff.
Thanks, Is that coming up here? Okay. for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour, 300 feet, 100 feet. Okay, Chip, we'll fill you to the end of the race. <laughs> Exit's clear, 17th place. Coming in. I think P3's gone off in Graham Hill Bend. Sector 1 is 5.2, off the face. There's an incident in Stirling's Bend. It looks like Chen, the gap to Williams, behind is now 30 seconds. The leader, Waltman, is pitting. Oh, 
Left side, Chris. Thank you. Yes, got a 10 to left. Hey, Kendra. Left side, Rick. Thank you. Pass me on the left. Hold it. Front is now 13 seconds. Sixteenth place. Thanks, Jeff. Keep that, Ed. The gap behind is now 8.3 seconds. That lap time was on 30.0. Keep going, Ryan. Blue flag. There's an incident in Sterling's Bend. It looks like it's Marshall. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Go and go left here. Thank you. Down the right. Twenty minutes remaining, you've got twenty minutes left. Incident in Druids. We think it might be Sheldon. A blue flag. Yes, on the right. Thank you. That's on the right. Thank you. All right, Chip, you're reeling. Marshall in. The gap is 3.1 seconds. Thank 
Thank you. Pass me on the right. Pass me on the right. There's an incident in Paddock Hill. behind is catching. The gap's now 0.6. Blue flag. I'm your left, Michael. Thanks, Jeff. Blue flag. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.1. He's 17. <laughs> Michael. You betcha. Thanks, Andrew. Left side, Rick. Thank you. All right, Chip, come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. 15 minutes left. Sector three is 0.6, off the pace.
Captain Williams behind is increasing. It's now 7.0. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Thanks, Jeff. That lap was at 129.3. <laughs> Incident in Graham Hill Bend. <laughs> That was at twenty nine point five. The gap ahead is now 13 seconds. P17. There's an incident in Westfield. Ten to left. Thanks, Andrew. You got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. There's an incident in Graham Hill Bend. Looks like it's Williams.
the gap to Williams behind is increasing. It's now 15 seconds. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 15 seconds. Thanks, Pai Chen. Yes. That last light was a one twenty nine point seven. There's an incident in Surtees. It looks like Sheldon. Thanks, Walker. Yellow flag. Sector the one is one point one seconds off the pace. Back to Looks like P5's gone off in Sterling's. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Pass me on the right. Come on, man, keep pushing. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. Thank you. Welcome. Sector two is 0.6 off the Thank base. Thank you, Drew. Yep. The gap in front is now 15 seconds.
Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Sector two is 0.6, off the pace. That's me on the right. Thank you. That's me on the right. Thanks, Andrew. Left side, Brian, inside. Thanks, Jeff. Left side, Arnie. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. No problem. I estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. White flag, last lap. Sector one is 3.2, off the pace. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Good race, guys, that was a lot of fun. Hey, race progress. Sorry, came off the track there. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, after all the traffic, I just wasn't confident carrying speed in there. Made a little mistake. That's a scary turn. Looks like P5's gone off in Druids. There's an incident in Paddock Hill. <laughs> nice race, Derwin and uh, Jonathan Nelson, watching you guys. P17, that's the end of the race. Never mind. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Derwin is just uh, flawless up there. Did you crash out? Yeah, how was, how was it going? Oh, uh, me? Uh, yeah, I spun one. Yeah, what was you? <laughs> oh dear. Maybe. <laughs> That's right, sorry, Walker, I uh, showed you the way. <laughs> Maybe we can get the uh, committee members to have a real quick meeting then uh, over Discord. We're still around. I'll join as soon as I heard. That was a good time. Thanks, fellas. Hey, committee, thank you so much for the entire season. Great job. Yeah, thanks, guys, for putting this on. A lot of fun.
It's you guys, the drivers, that make the series. It's been good. It's been fun. Watch your speed limit in the pits. 300 feet. 100 feet. And that's a race. We'll wrap up in a few minutes. And good luck in the uh, zone challenges, guys. Represent the West Coast. That's how we do it in the Wild West Zones. <laughs> what a race. What a track. <clears throat> what a group of guys. Really um, couldn't have wrapped that up nicer. Um, series 2 coming to conclusion here at Brands Hatch. Um, and uh, things wrapping up as they did uh, was was just, it was incredible. It was a, a really good evening um, and uh, a lot of fun. Um, all in all, I, I ran a decent race. All things considered, um, I started in 18th position and I finished in 17th. So I got a, a position overall. Um, I did manage to finish ahead of Jeff Williams, but on up the road were both uh, Jeff Rosenthal and Arnie Clayson at the end of the night. Um, and we have another sport guy that competed for the first time tonight. Uh, Ryan um, joined us um, and uh, had just gotten classified for this race. So he's in sport class and uh, he's wicked fast. Um, <laughs> I, I jokingly told Stephen Chen, I probably was misclassified. That guy was definitely club class or, or better. Um, he had an average pace of 129.4 and a fast lap of 127.4. So he's definitely, uh, he's a comer. So I, I, we'll, we'll see, um, how he continues to compete moving forward. But, uh, but congratulations to him for, for pulling that out tonight. Um, my laps were kind of as expected, really, if I'm honest. I, I actually, I drove better tonight than I, I anticipated that I might, um, given my system issues that I started the week with, um, lack of practice um, during the week, and my general dislike of this track. Although I, I've got to say, I've warmed up to this track a little bit uh, this week of uh, panicked last minute laps and um, competing tonight for an hour long race. Uh, I developed, uh, developed a little bit of an affinity for the old girl, but um, man, tough track, tough spots. Um, my my <laughs> shameful off track, I was uh, focusing on Jeff Williams and what he was doing, and I was so fixated on where he was on track that I just followed him right off track. Um, luckily was able to dig myself out a little quicker than he did. And uh, once I got past him, um, that, uh, that was all she wrote for poor Jeff. I, I, uh, that really, really uh, highlighted the challenges, um, of passing on this track is man, it's just really precarious and you have to take your opportunities where you find them. Um, because they're not always going to be gifted to you in a way that you can just sort of, uh, deliver and execute. Um, I was following Michael around. I just couldn't find a place to pass him yet. Others did. Um, and so it was just, it was one of those sorts of nights for me. Um, I had a few other off tracks, a couple of, uh, uh, spins, a couple of just like got wheels off. Um, but all things considered not, not a horrible, horrible night with six incident points total. Um, not, not bad at all for an hour long race. My fastest lap was 129, 195. So in all intents and purposes, 129.2, not horrible. Um, my fastest lap of um, the week in practice was a 128.2, um, but I did not show that in qualifying practice tonight or in the race. So uh, I've got to figure some of that's at least attributable to track conditions um, being optimal for, for the lap that I threw down in practice earlier. Um, but not, not horrible. There were 41 laps total in the race. I completed 40. I was lapped, so I finished one lap down, as did the majority of, of our, our group. But um, um, there were, I think, I think Arnie and uh, um, our new guy, Ryan, both both finished on the lead lap. Yeah, Arnie was the last car on the lead lap, and Ryan um, was, he finished fifth overall. Dude, dude is fast. Um, so that's the results there. Um, uh, so let's, let's not keep you in suspense any longer. We do have the calculations for the, uh, the series two results, um, after tonight's race calculations figured in, 
Um, so these are congratulations as much as uh, information conveyance. Um, Derwin um, Kostanak, uh, first in pro. Rich Minkler, second in pro. Uh, Rick Reinsberg, third in pro. Um, so uh, pretty remarkable. Congratulations to the three of them. In club class, we have Jonathan Waltman, first place. Um, Chris Sabarowski, second place. And Brian Granger in third place in class. So congratulations to them. In sport... Arnie Clayson right, came out with 287 points, finishing in first in sport. Jeff Rosenthal second with 285. And me, I finished third with 284 um, because of that finish ahead of Jeff. So I, lucky. Um, uh, all things being considered, uh, I feel very fortunate to have managed to claw my way back up the tree to get into third position. So um, congratulations to both Arnie and Jeff and, and to actually everybody in sport. This was a really, really tight, um, tight class um, all the way through from race one all the way to the end. So um, really, really a pleasure to compete with these guys um, and uh, um, really look forward to where where we all wind up when we go national um, with the zone competitions and then of course uh, in the PCA Sim Racing Series 6 which is coming up in this summer. Challenge class. Challenge class we have uh, Fraser Marshall um, finished first place in challenge. Congratulations Marshall. He's another zone 7 guy. He's a Golden Gate region guy so he's local. Um, I've autocrossed with him um, so I know him personally. Um, great to see him come out uh, in his first series and, and do so well. Uh, Michael Burgoyne um, uh, is uh, second place in challenge and then Volker Krebs third place. Congratulations to all of you guys. Um, I, I actually just all the way down the stack, um, including uh, Scott Rogers winning tonight. Um, you know, Mark Sheldon showing such great speed um, tonight in several places where he and I encountered each other on the track. Um, and uh, Andrew McCune just developing so well from where they started and where they're, they are now, um, just night and day differences. And uh, it's really great to see. It's, it's, it's you know, that journey. We're all on uh, a different part of the same journey and um, have all been there before. Um, and, you know, there's always somebody that has been um, in the place that you are. So can look back and kind of go, you know, it, it is worth it. Um, keeping your head down, learning new things, getting better and better and better. Um, and, and I'm sure the guys in pro would say the same is that, you know, they've, they've all struggled. They've all been, been in that spot where you feel like you're a little out of your depth and you stick with it and uh, you keep doing good things. And I'm just amazed at the, the transformation of everybody in the Wild West zones. Um, when we started out um, with Series 1, there were a lot of incidents and, uh, you know, a lot of off tracks, a lot of accidents, you know, just typical type of stuff. And the more people we put on track, the more that became an issue. But I think that putting all classes on track at the same time has been a tremendous benefit to everybody um, in terms of how we manage traffic, what we look out for, um, how we exercise caution, how we announce ourselves um, or our intentions to be really clear or drive our line more fastidiously so that, you know, we're, we're, we're predictable for the guys that are faster and are coming up behind us. Um, this is, I think, going to pay off um, uh, great dividends um, as we move into the National Series moving forward. So it's really exciting to see um, these skills being developed and and to come along so quickly um, in, in some of the guys that are, are really new to this in our series. So congratulations to, to everybody. Um, this is actually pretty tremendous. We also, um, one of the things that we published on the website, I just actually pushed this just now. Um, we've got the summary of tonight's race, um, the podiums that I just gave you in terms of the series championship, um, links to the championship, of course. And then this new link, um, qualification results for PCA Sim Racing Zone Challenge. This is a document that we'll be pushing up to our uh, um, National Steering Committee that basically um, breaks all the classes out by zone um, and uh, kind of shows where people finished. My current understanding is that the top four in each zone in each class qualify for the zone championship already. So you don't have to go through the zone challenge races to get into the zone championship. Um, so that's, uh, this sheet will give you kind of an indication of where you are. If you finished in the top four in your zone, 
um, in your class, then um, then you're in. So uh, we'll see you there. Um, congratulations, to everybody that did qualify. And um, in certain circumstances, we didn't actually have a full full roster <laughs> to to fill. So um, we'll we'll figure that out as we go, I guess, um, um, and uh, uh, see where that goes. Anyway, um, thank you very much again for joining me for tonight's race and for this whole series. Um, I am going to take a brief break, of course, because I'm not going to need to race in the challenge races for the uh, Zone Championship. I'll uh, take a little bit of a break. I may race some skippies with some friends. Um, I've got some prep work to do for some team racing. Rob Cottle and I are doing both for PCA Sim Racing and for our continued work in the uh, Champion Motorsports iRacing Team Endurance Series. So a lot of, uh, of work still to be done. But my videos may wane for a couple of weeks. However, I do have some ideas um, around some topical videos that um, might be of interest. So um, if you have a topic around sim racing, uh, PCA sim racing specifically, or setup, or other sorts of things that you think would be a good topic for a how-to video, um, put it in the comments, let me know, and um, I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm already working on some things for basic how do's, how to's for you know how to start sim racing, how to you know connect to Discord and get that set up, uh, how to tune your equipment. I still owe all of you a uh, a walkthrough of my new rig and all the equipment that I recently acquired and and have set up. Um, now that I've set it up twice, I can really talk about it. I think <laughs> recovering from my disaster. Um, but, uh, so I owe you guys that as well, but if there are any other topics or anything specifically that you're interested in that you think that I might be able to, um, uh, find information on and explain well in a video, put that in the comments. And of course, um, if you're not already, please subscribe, please like, um, and, um, I will, I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks a lot. <laughs>